Today, I am excited to share with you a groundbreaking tool that could change the way we create animations forever. It's called Toon Crafter. Whether you're an animator or someone who can barely draw a stick figure, this tool will blow your mind. And the best part is that it's completely free and open source. So what is Toon Crafter? Simply put, it's an AI tool that allows you to create animations from just two keyframes. Yup, you heard that right. So just two images, a starting image and an ending image. And the AI does all the hard work for you, filling in the in-between frames to create a smooth animation. Let me show you some examples. Check this out from Spirited Away. We start with these images and the AI understands even complex scenes like a train moving across water and adds realistic splashing effects. Or check out this campfire scene where the flames dance around, giving it a lifelike feel only from two images. This one starts with a single frame of a character in red on the left side of the image. And then we set a final frame where he has moved further to the center and is smaller. Toon Crafter takes these two frames and animates the entire scene. Notice how it changes in size. Also, look at the guards, there is no morphing between the frames, which is what you would get if you tried to animate this scene using some of the more known tools like Gen 2 from Runway or Picalabs. There are more interesting showcases to see on their GitHub page. Here is another cool one. This object here is slowly moving away from the paper and the stamp or text underneath doesn't change and stays the same. Even if the creators of this tool has cherry-picked the best results, this is really good. We can see some comparisons down here as well. There are results from different models and competitors. And in all of these cases, the clear winner is Toon Crafter with the least amount of blurriness and artifacts in the animation. Like this one where the hands are doing some weird stuff and merging with the background. Using the same two frames, we see that Toon Crafter gives a much smoother animation with clear lines. This one here is pretty funny. We have two frames showing a car parking on a street. Looking at the animation of the other models, there are cars flying away and cars disappearing into the street. But using this new AI model, the new animation looks great and even the lines and wires stay in place. So how does Toon Crafter pull off these amazing animations? It uses a process called interpolation. In traditional animation, animators create keyframes which are the major positions in a sequence and then fill in the in-between frames. Toon Crafter uses AI to automate this process, taking your keyframes and generating the in-between frames for you. It's like having a professional animator working with you. I will try out this tool and create some animations of our own in a second. Before that, let me quickly show you some of the other cool features and ways this tool can be used. If you want even more control, you can add sketches as guidance to direct the AI on how the animation should progress. This gives you the ability to fine tune movements and actions within your scenes. Just provide a start and end sketch and the AI will animate the scene for you. If you have a single colored frame like this one, it can even generate the entire color animation based on that reference. Imagine the time this could save for artists and animators. Look at this example taken from Final Fantasy. By adding a rough sketch of the hand movements, Toon Crafter accurately animates a character putting on a glove. The level of detail and control you get is simply amazing. The more sketches you provide, the more control you will have of the transitions. There are a bunch of results on their GitHub page. Let me show you this example where they have only used one extra sketch for guidance. So this is the first frame and this is the final frame. And in the middle, they've added this sketch to tell the AI that this is what the animation should look like. So let's play it in normal speed. Looks great. Now let's change the playback speed to 0.25. And now we see that the AI has generated a lot of extra frames for us on its own. There are of course some minor deformities in the frames, but nothing noticeable once you play it at full speed. Now in the middle, we get this frame, which is perfect. And as you might have guessed, this is the single sketch that was added as guidance. Think of these as checkpoints of perfect frames that keeps the AI on the right path. As these models and tools improve, they have the potential to change the animation industry. 
Imagine the possibilities for indie creators, educators, or even professional studios looking to streamline their workflow. By automating the tedious parts, you allow animators to focus on storytelling and creativity. So let's play around with this tool. If you prefer to not install anything, you can use Toon Crafter directly on Hugging Face. Just go to their demo page. I have also put the link in the description below. Now this is what it looks like. Just upload your start and end frames here, write a simple prompt and click generate. Now let's try some images I have generated with Me Journey. I use this character sheet of a red dragon. I crop out these two images of our dragon for our starting and ending frame. I did some minor editing on the wings with Photoshop and fixed some details. By using these two images, this is what we got. There are definitely some movement, but the details don't look that great. Let's try another one. Now I added some clouds to the frames and made the scene bigger with enough room for the dragon's movement. Now let's see what we got this time. Uh, the movement of the cloud is good, but the dragon is still lacking the stability that I'm looking for. I will experiment with something very simple instead. Let's go with this black circle against the white background. And for the ending frame, I want the black circle to have grown in size and move to the right side of the image. There is nothing extra in the image, so hopefully we get something decent here. Alright, this looks actually good. I tried to generate the video again using a slightly different prompt. It gave me this, which is almost identical to the first result. Let me show you something cool I pulled off. So I generated this image of a leaf. Using this method, I created this animation of our leaf blowing in the wind. I like how it turned out. Next, I generated this image here of a sequence of a fireball. Using these two images here, Toon Crafter created this for us. Doesn't that look great? Now you can create a lot of cool effects using this method. Next I try to create some animation using this character here. The goal is to make him lift his head and look up. It's a decent animation. I like how he raises his eyebrows and the eye gets bigger in the last frame, as if he actually sees something that surprises him. Now using the animation we created, we can rotate and add this circle here. Now it looks like our character is looking at the black circle going up as he is lifting his head. If we duplicate the animation and reverse it, we can create a longer duration demo like this. This is so fun. All right, now I tried it with another angle. So I used the first image, but the ending frame is now a front view of our character. So what we need is an animation of our character rotating his head and body. Looking at the result, it isn't as good as the first one, but I'm certain if I had tried to generate this a few times, I would eventually get a great animation. Here is the last one of a girl, and this is what I got on my first generation. If you have liked any part of this video, please make sure you subscribe. It's the best support I can get. Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye.